Don't be a litter bug. Pick up litter and jitter instead. Let's read a story, draw a picture, and sing and dance our way to a more beautiful Cincinnati. So hey kids, I'm Kara from Keep Cincinnati Beautiful, here to teach you how beautiful and special our city is and how we can keep it that way. You're going to learn how we can all work together to make Cincinnati a safe, healthy place to live. So let's get started. Today, I'm going to read this giant book written just for the kids of Cincinnati. It's called How Spiders Stopped the Litter Bugs, and it's written by Robert Krause. Now, when somebody writes the words to the story, we give them a special name. We call them the author. What do we do when we have a piece of trash? We throw it in the trash can, right? Well, sometimes there's two different places to put our trash. Does anybody know the names of those two different places where we can throw our trash away? Well, one place is the trash can. Anything we need to throw away, it can go right into here. Sometimes we call it the garbage or the dumpster. It's all the same thing. The other place is called the recycling. Sometimes it's blue, sometimes it's green, but it always has this symbol on the front. Now, with the recycling, we can't just throw any trash into it. We can only throw special things. Does anybody know what one of those things is that we can put into the recycling bin? Well, if you said paper, cardboard, cans, glass, or plastic bottles and jugs, you got it. Now, sometimes people throw their trash on the ground. Is that where it belongs? No! That's right. When people throw their trash on the ground, we give it a special name. We call it litter. So littering is when someone throws their trash on the ground instead of where it's supposed to go, the trash can or the recycling bin. So is littering a good thing? No! That's right, littering is not a good thing. It's smelly, it doesn't look pretty, and it can hurt humans and animals. And that's why we never litter. All right, kids, so now I'm gonna give you some examples and I want you to tell me whether or not that's littering. Let's say I'm walking down the street and I'm eating a bag of chips and I finish that bag of chips and I throw that empty bag on the ground. Is that littering? Yes! yes. All right, let's say that I'm in the classroom and I finished a piece of paper and I messed up my drawing so I go to throw it away and when I launch it at the trash can, I miss and it falls on the floor. But I don't pick it up. Is that littering? Yes! Exactly. Let's say I'm in the cafeteria and while I'm eating my lunch, I get some food on my hands. I go to clean myself up with a napkin and I take that dirty napkin and I throw it on the floor. Is that littering? Yes! It is. Let's say I'm at a park and I'm eating an apple, and nobody eats the apple core. So when I finish, I'm looking around for a trash can, and I don't see one anywhere. So I just take that apple core, and I throw it in the grass. Is that littering? Yes! That's right, boys and girls. So now we know that littering, it can happen anywhere. And it's not just in the streets or the sidewalks. It can happen in our parks, in our classrooms, our cafeterias, or even in our own homes. So kids, let's read this story. And while we're reading it, you all can use your printable cutout and coloring sheet, or you can draw the story on a piece of paper to follow along. And you can create your own storyboard. Now, a storyboard is a large scene. And what we do is we take the different characters that appear in this book and we're gonna put them on that scene. And it's just another way of making this story come to life. So you ready? Let's get started. So this story is called How Spiders Stopped the Litter Bugs. And it was written 
just for the school children of Cincinnati. And that's you. I was all excited. It was the day of the school picnic. I brought my lunchbox, my umbrella, and my guitar. On my way to school, I met my friends Fly and Ladybug. I knew we were going to have lots of fun. <gasps> Looks like rain, said Fly. I hope it doesn't ruin our picnic, said Ladybug. Don't worry, I said. I brought my umbrella. We met Mosquito and the rest of the school bugs in front of the school. Mosquito counted the bugs. There are two bugs missing, she said. Well, let's go anyway, said Fly. Just then, two voices cried out. Wait, don't leave without us. It was the twin caterpillars and they had overslept. I was hoping that the litter bugs would come to school for the picnic, said Ladybug. Fat chance, said Fly. So we all held hands and walked over to Bug Park. When we saw the park, we gasped. It was a mess. What a dump, said Fly. Someone had overturned all the trash baskets. There were bottles, cans, and newspapers all over. Banana peels and apple cores too. A note on the tree read, the litter bugs were here. I should have known, grumbled Fly. Our picnic is ruined, cried Ladybug. Let's go home, cried Fly. Hey, wait a minute, I said. The litter bugs made this mess, but we can clean it up. Nobody's going to litter on our picnic. Soon, the park was so clean, you could eat off the grass. And in fact, Fly did just that. Hooray, said Ladybug. Don't hooray too soon, said Fly. Look who's here. Here comes the litter bugs. They swarmed, they swooped, they jumped and they dumped. They're not only litter bugs, they're bullies, cried Fly. What do we do? Then I remembered an old saying, music has charms to soothe the savage bug. Come on, Ladybug and Fly, I said. We're gonna play a little music. I started singing, come on, bugs. Don't litter, litter, litter. Just jitter, jitter, jitter all day long. What does jitter mean? Well, when we hear music, we can do one of two things. We either sing along or we dance. And that's what jitter means. It means to dance. So what Spider is saying is he's saying, don't litter, just dance. It was unbelievable. First, the litter bugs stopped dumping. Then they started shaking. They dropped their litter and they started to jitter. The litter bugs had changed into jitterbugs. Chittering is more fun than littering, said Lenny Litterbug. We had a great picnic after all. And when it was over, the litter bugs even helped clean. You did it again, spider, said Ladybug. I couldn't have done it without you guys, I said. The end. Wait, there's more. There's a note from our friend Spider on the back. And it says, hi kids and bugs. Number one, please don't litter. Number two, we wanna put all of our litter in a trash can. Number three, we wanna recycle our bottles, paper, and cans. And number four, garbage, it won't go away. So be like me, your friend, Spider. Wow, that story taught us a lot about littering. So now, what do you do if you have a piece of trash, but you don't see a trash can anywhere? 
Well, you can take that wrapper and that piece of trash and you can stick it in your pocket and wait until you get home because I bet everybody watching this video has a trash can in their home, right? And if you see litter on the ground, you can pick up that litter and you can throw it away, unless it's something sharp or scary. Then get an adult and they can help you. Picking up litter is an excellent way to make your neighborhood a beautiful place to live. And now we know not to litter, but let's make like Spider and the other bugs and do some jittering. So stand up, sing along, and show us your best dance moves to the song that Spider played to turn those litter bugs into jitterbugs. Just pick up that litter and sing this song. Don't litter, litter, litter. Just jitter, jitter, jitter all day long. If we all work together, we'll make Cincinnati better. Yes, we can. Don't litter, litter, litter. Just jitter, jitter, jitter all day long. If you see any litter, just pick up that litter and sing this song. Don't litter. These videos were made possible through the generosity of our donors. Special shout outs to Charles H. Dater Foundation, the City of Cincinnati, the Ohio's Arts Council, the General Electric Community Service Fund, the Kroger Foundation, Duke Energy. To learn more about Keep Cincinnati Beautiful and all of our programming across the city, visit our website www.keepcincinnatibeautiful.org. Learn how you can get involved, volunteer, and make this city beautiful by signing up for our newsletter or following us on social media. As a nonprofit, we thrive through the support of our sponsors and individual donors like you. If you would like to contribute to Keep Cincinnati Beautiful, click the donate link in the video description box below.